Hi, welcome to my platform. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location or anytime you are meeting this video on YouTube. In case if it is your first time and you like what I do here, after watching, subscribe, put on your notification bell. Set it to all notifications so that you will be able to get notified each time I upload a new video. And what do we do in this platform? We react to all forms of video, local, international, especially in Biafra land and in Nigeria. How we do it, we present the video, we introduce it, then we sit down there to watch it together with you from the beginning to the end. Then later we'll go to the comment section to air our mind. You are free to criticize, you are free to air your mind, but let us always do it constructively so that nobody will be offended. So, Ibondio Mane Genti, Eke Nemono, Umu Nemundin Jemono, Nasanachi, Onabonachi, my lovely family, you people are now my family. I appreciate your massive support. I love and cherish each and every one of you. Never take your support for granted as we watch this video. Is because those who have been deceived by Tony Nadi's group, we need them to understand that it is time they come back and join the people that are genuinely fighting for the freedom of this their people. evening. So this evening Let we are going to waste that uh, all these years, all the time they have been. With this uh, fake into called Tony Nadi, and the call. collapse of the Ninas, they have wasted the, uh, the reason wasted why everything, and this Nina be broke. Waste. So there is opportunity for them to understand. Nobody said my voice is low. Let's see. There is opportunity to understand that uh, we need to come together. Those who don't understand what is going on, they all need to come together and let us push this thing once and for all. So this evening, do not miss the program. As we are going to step on toes, we are going to step on toes this evening. And uh, because of the impunity going on, we are going to step on toes. Because in the quest for this Biafra restoration, we will not leave every stone or any stone unturned. Some of you uh, watched as the pressure continued to go. Let me tell you one thing. The worst thing that the Nigeria government will want to see is to see the southern Nigeria locked down for Mazenam Bikanu and for Sunday Iboho. So anything can happen. Anything can happen at any point in time. And the campaign for this, the campaign for this uh, sitting at home for Mazenam Bikanu unconditional release and the Sunday Iboho release is going to be on, is going to be on and we are not backing down. Remember, we gave 15th of December. 15th of December to release Mazi Namdekanu. 15th of December. We made it very clear. Mazi Namdekanu cannot be in detention until Christmas. We made it very clear as well. The same thing goes to Sunday Iboho. They must be released for public interest because it is not going to be easy. He has done nothing. He has committed no crime. And the law of Nigeria, the Nigeria constitution, is very, very clear. It made it very clear that for public interest and to avoid the abuse of legal process, Mazenam Bikano and Sunday Iboho should be released. So, and some of you have read that legal opinion. Very, very easy. It is at it has it has nothing to do with tribal correlation. It has nothing to do with ethnic correlation. It is just a fact that for the government to understand that. 
for public interest, Mazen and Bikanu must be released. And we are not backing down on that. So this evening we are going to go harder on some issues. And this evening also, I am coming to also talk a little bit, just small, just small, on the man called Uwazurike. You see, some of you do not understand, uh, you know, uh, what Uwazurike uh, represent. You know, so after yesterday uh, broadcast, uh, this uh, evening, I will come to just just more to touch, to touch uh, on Wazurike, uh, you know, on Wazurike's uh, issue. And uh, some people are saying, our leader, uh, our leader to appear in court. Where do you get that? Is that from our legal team? Is that from our? Is that from our legal team? <laughs> Did you see that from the legal team? Did you see that from Ifanyi, from our our erudite lawyer, Barrister Ifanyi Jofo, or Barif, Barrister Aloy Ejimako? Did you see the update from them? Of course, anything about legal matter, anything about legal matter, about the court of our leader must come from the legal team. So did you see that from the legal team? The legal team should be able to brief us about appearing, our leader appearing in court. <laughs> and uh, so I don't have any comment. I have not come across that. I have not come across that at all. I have not come across any anything like that. So, uh, Please, I don't want people to come here and bring fake news. I have not come across the news or any update from the legal team that he will appear in court tomorrow. So the legal team must be able to brief us as usual. They must brief us as usual. And uh, so and I trust them for that. So uh, if I didn't hear from them, uh, if anybody didn't hear from them, I would not uh, take anything from anywhere. When it comes to this uh, legal issue concerning our leader, the people that have the, uh, the, the right information to give to us are the legal team. And they have been giving information, they have been, giving update to, uh, they have been updating us every day, including just a few days ago, they have updated us. So I don't think... Uh, uh, I don't think uh, they cannot update us. So if there is any, if our leader is going to come, I'm just seeing the comment now for the very first time. Somebody is commenting it here. So please let us focus on what I'm saying. I will go after this broadcast. I will, uh, I will research on it. So uh, somebody say who is posting it? Uh, is that how the information for our lead, our court, for our our leader's court come in the first place? Where did you get all this? Where are you people getting all this news? Don't distract us here, please. Don't distract, don't distract, don't distract us, please. Don't distract us. If, uh, if, uh, okay, I'll be a court. Okay. So, okay, that is the, the case for, the case for the, uh, for the, uh, for the, uh, um, uh, compensation. Or oh, yes, a lawyer, Ejimako. That's a lawyer, Ejimako. So, you people should not be, be, uh, contradicting things and all that. So the uh, case being filed by a lawyer, Jimako, uh, Jimako at Abia Court, Umwaha Court will be uh, tomorrow because they have been adjoining them and all that. So if that is the case, then that's, that's okay. So, but pe you people should be very specific that, you know, so you don't cause confusion with uh, all this kind of news. So like, we are, like I was saying, our demand remains that the, uh, the, uh, our leader must be released unconditionally. And um, yesterday, the campaign for the seat at home across the southern Nigeria have started. And uh, we are going to stop at nothing until we see it, how to achieve that. So, uh, you see what I posted about the conference yesterday, uh, uh, you know, with the, the press conference yesterday of which, 
of which I participated about Sunday Iboho. So we are beginning to call our Dudua people to uh, get ready for the seat at home for both Mazinambikano and Sunday Iboho. And let me tell you, all the Biafrans in Oduduwa land, all the Biafrans in the southern Nigeria, it must be, uh, everybody must get ready because it is the only sacrifice you are going to do to Mazinambikano. The only thing you have to do to Mazinambikano. You see, uh, people are surprised. Why am I so interested in the, in the civil disobedience? Because it is something that is going to work. And from this civil disobedience, we, you know, we can now uh, go to, we can now continue to a different thing. But for now, we have to understand the potency of this uh, 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 civil disobedience. So let the entire Biafrans that are doing business in Yoruba land understand this thing. We are saying this thing, all the people must begin to talk to the market leaders and all that. We need to start from next week. As I, we know that I already started, but at least from next week, let us see more of compliance of this sit at home from us in America. We want to see it in the news. We want to read it in the news that other Biafrans in the southern Nigeria have also uh, started complying to this Monday, Monday sit at home. So that they will know that it is not only those in Biafra land that are supporting Mazin Ambicano. We need to know how far you that are in Lagos can support Mazin Ambicano. We need to know how far you that in Yoruba land can support Mazin Ambicano. We, we, we need to know, we need to tell the Nigeria government that Mazin Ambicano is not just being supported by people in Biafra land that also every Biafran anywhere in Nigeria. But now, we are not going to the northern Nigeria for a reason. So those of you in northern Nigeria, you do not need to start embarking on this, uh, to observe this one week sit at home, um, uh, every Monday sit at home. Again, I am also calling on the Christians in Nigeria to start to buckle up. You see, when they are crying that uh, America have removed them, America have removed Nigeria from the country that persecute Christians. The question you should be asking yourself is, what have you done? What have you done to convince America that you are being killed as Christians in Nigeria? What have you done? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. So if you want America to take you serious, if you want America to know that you are actually being killed, which is true, you need to do something extraordinary. You need to do something extraordinary. It is not by prayer. Don't sit in your church and pray for America to include Nigeria in the list. Putting Nigeria in the list is a plus to the struggle for self-determination in Nigeria. It's a plus. It's a plus. Putting Nigeria in the list is a plus, in case you don't know that. So this is not where you go to your church and start praying, you do fasting for America to now say they want to put Nigeria again in the list. No. It requires action. It requires action. And the action that it requires from you is we embark on one week sit at home. I don't know why it is too hard for you people. When you can sit three months at home during the COVID-19. During the COVID-19. And it didn't change anything in your life. COVID-19 did not change anything in your life. Rather, it bring more of uh, challenges to you. So why can't you sacrifice one week to make history in your entire life? One week. One week, the entire Christians. Because Christians in Nigeria are becoming the most useless people. Why can't you people think for once? When you talk, they'll say, no, one week, where is the food? But you do dry fasting one week. You do three days dry fasting. But now... For you to convert that first thing you have been doing into sitting at home so that God will answer this prayer in a different way. You see, when you pray without making action, you can't stop. You, you, it doesn't work like that. You must make a move after your prayer. So you pray, you back it up with action. So the action that you need to back it up now is that you need to stand up and begin to agitate and advocate for Christians to sit, uh, sit at home for at least one week. This is going to be the game changer in this whole thing. This is going to be the game changer. 
you don't know how it is paining these people. This sit at home. You don't know how it is paining them because it is showing them that they have lost control of the people. So, and this one is not like they will come to your house and start killing you. It is going to show that they have lost control of the people. Since they can kill us with uh, AK-47 if you go to protest. We don't need to protest. We need to sit in our homes. Okay? So, my people, it is very, very important for you to know that civil disobedience is one of the biggest weapons. Civil disobedience is one of the biggest weapon. And then we will continue for those who are asking, what are you doing? Do you have another thing to do? Do you have another action? Do you, have, are you, do you follow me? Do you know what I do? You don't know. What you don't know is bigger than you. What you don't know is bigger than you. So... Thank you so much for watching this video together with me. Like I said before, if it is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel and you like what I do, please subscribe, put on your notification bell, share this video, leave your comment in the comment section. You are free to criticize, but let us do it always constructively. Remain blessed. I appreciate your massive support and I love and cherish each and every one of you. Until I meet you again in my next video for now, we say bye-bye.